Engineering with Thematic Energy Suite Today, we're going to create the energy meter 480V AC and Centron PEC 3200 measuring instruments as energy objects. Our project is based on an ET200SP1512SP CPU. We are going to attach the energy meter to this unit and integrate it into Energy Suite. We will start by opening the hardware catalog. The energy meter can be found under the heading Analog Inputs. We have to select the 480V version so that we can use the device with an energy suite. Now we drag this device onto our device configuration. Then we open the energy meter properties. We go to the measurement settings and choose the measurement type the energy meter should use. Here it is important to note that one of the four measuring types cannot be used if the energy meter is being used as an energy object in energy suite. That means no advanced data can be generated if you are using one energy meter to measure three measuring points, each with one phase and one neutral conductor. The reason is that the measurement is calculated for the energy meter as a whole. The next step is to set the energy meter to no end value, count indefinitely. The measuring voltage and frequency can also be set here. Energy Suite expects a strictly defined structure of the I.O. image to be able to receive relevant invoicing data from the energy meter. We enable this by activating User Data Mapping, which allows us to configure the I.O. image accordingly. Three parameters are required for the basic data. First, the total active power identified as ID34 under the category Powers. Then the total active energy import ID210 under Energies. Finally, the total active energy export ID211 is created under Energies. If further data is required from the energy meter for user-specific applications, this can be added below. The energy meter can only be used with a current transformer. In the item Input Line Conductor, the transformer for current and voltage can be set, primary and secondary. The configuration of the energy meter is now completed, and the next step is to define the energy object. We do this by creating a new energy object table on the controller and then generating a new energy object. We then select the data source. Clicking the PLC shows us all I.O. devices detected by Energy Suite. We select our energy meter and define the archiving period. We must adapt the energy meter overflow of the measuring instrument so that Energy Suite is able to respond to it. As no end value, count indefinitely, is selected in the energy meter, we have to select a very high value here. We enter 10 to the power of 15 under User Defined. Now we can generate the PLC program. As the energy meter is one of the measuring instruments supported by Energy Suite via a special driver library, we are able to generate advanced energy data. That means we not only receive data that is relevant for invoicing, such as average power, but also additional data such as individual voltages, currents or power factors. After the generating has been completed, we find a folder with the energy program in the controller's program block. Our energy object was created in this energy program. When we open the folder, we find two blocks with the relevant data. The block with exactly the same name as the energy object contains the basic data. The advanced energy data is in the block with a suffix ADV. Now we are going to connect a Centron PEC 3200 in Energy Suite. First, we paste the device into our configuration. In the navigation area, we navigate to Power Supply and Distribution, Power Distribution and Measurement, Measuring Devices, PAC 3200, and mark the PAC 3200. Then we drag the device and drop it into our hardware configuration. 
we open the device view and place a PrivateNet expansion module from the hardware catalog into the vacant slot in the device. Then we assign the device to our controller. As with the energy meter, we have to adjust the I.O. so that energy suite can read the basic data. We do this by creating the following parameters. PMD diagnostic status. Total active power. Total active energy import. Total active energy export. Control bytes. When the device configuration has been completed, we create the energy object for a Centron pack. We open a new table under Energy Objects in the controller and create the new energy object there. The Profinet I.O. system is opened in the data source under the corresponding controller. We enter 10 to the power of 15 under User Defined. Now we can generate the energy program. To enable the energy suite to react to the overflow of the energy meter, we set the overflow value in the energy object to 10 to the power of 12. Because the Centrum pack also belongs to the energy support library, we can also generate advanced energy data. That means that we can not only read basic data out of the device, but also data such as current and voltage. After the generating of energy objects has been completed, we can find the data in the corresponding folder in the PLC program block, as described above. If the data is to be visualized, reference must be made to these structures. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.